Now, I'm a man um, that, that tells us uh, clearly, I don't know everything. But, however, I do have the ears to hear. And I've learned over the years that hearing is an art. Uh, it is something that um, needs all of your attention at any given time. A lot of times we, we think that we're hearing, and we're not hearing at all. Um, so since I know I don't know everything, uh, I listen. I listen very closely, and then I make informed decisions uh, based on what I've heard. And I try to make intelligent decisions because I know that the words um, and the things that I teach us are going to stay with us until we meet the most high face to face. And so I'm very careful um, about what I present before the most high's people. Hallelujah. Uh, we've had enough foolishness uh, through Christianity presented to us to last for another 10, 12 centuries. But we thank the Father that he has um, loved us to bring us out of this. Hallelujah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually look at three words that we use commonly every single day. Words that we have learned from our training. Words that we have been trained uh, to define and perceive as they have taught us. And when I mean they, I mean the um, institutionalized school system that has taught us how to think. Now, we in this culture and in this society, um, as well as many other cultures and society, we think from a very abstract viewpoint. And we deal with everything in our life from an abstract viewpoint. And we actually think that we're functioning under the unction of the Holy Spirit when we view things this way. Um, the objective here is to help us to not only uh, to grow in the grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ, but also for us to be a people to know why we do certain things. Hallelujah. Uh, to not be ignorant because the scriptures says according to the prophet Hosea that in 4.6 that the most highest people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they reject knowledge. And we have many, many different ways that we reject knowledge. Um, one of the major ways that we reject knowledge is, is we don't have any interest whatsoever at all to nourish real, true, biblical, scriptural knowledge for our own selves. It's so much easier to sit down and to listen uh, to somebody who is so-called feeding us, and we have developed an attitude to not go out, uh, go out and do our own due diligence to check up and to see if the things that has been said to us, if it's so or not. We haven't done that. Um, that's the reason why we admonish us here to do that. Because we've been walking in ignorance and we've been walking after this trained mind uh, for so long. That's why I continue to quote the scripture over and over and over again that there is safety in the multitude of counselors. Anything that I preach and I teach here, it is your job to go and cross-reference. It is your job to go and check out. It is your job to prove all things and to hold fast to that which is good. Because it is your soul that is on the line. You can't continue to live in his life and put such a cheap value on your soul, trusting in any man, which all men, even though they don't want to be, at times we're fallible and we're flawed. So even the best of us, whatever that may be, we may not have the intent to deceive, but the opportunity is still there. 
So there's safety in a multitude of counsel. So when I talk the way I talk and I speak a certain way, it's because I'm trying to get our minds to think in a way that we have never been educated to think. And so we're going to take words slowly, but surely you're going to understand the meaning of these words so that when you speak, your words will be sound. Your speech would be sound. And people can't resist the wisdom that you speak by. Hallelujah. It's not that we're looking for our belief all over again. No, we're not doing that. We already know where, what our belief comes from. Hallelujah. It's not that we're looking for uh, our God all over again either. Hallelujah. Uh, what we're doing is rediscovering the truths that have been pressed down. Rediscovering the truths uh, that have been put on the back burner. Rediscovering all the truths that has somehow escaped us through the training that the Europeans and the Americans have given us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we have all been a product of their school systems. And we live our lives every day functioning after their training. But what we're going to do is rewire ourselves or be transformed, like the scripture says, by the renewing of our mind. Uh, we're going to do what the Bible says. We're going to prove all things. And we're going to hold fast to that which is good. Amen? Amen. So we want us to be uh, highly intelligent people. Amen? Amen? So we're going to understand a few words here tonight that is commonly used, um, especially um, in the realm of uh, coming to assembly or being around each other. All right? Now, it's my job to feed you with knowledge and understanding. That's what the scripture says. The prophet Jeremiah said in Jeremiah 3.15, he said, I will give you pastors. And he is speaking by the unction of the Ruach Kadesh or the spirit of the Most High. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Hallelujah. So I hope that your interest is, is up high. And you want to learn. Hallelujah. Many times we can see, because we often cross-reference words that has been given to us in our translation of the scriptures. Uh, we use the King James Version of the Bible here. And so many times um, we look and we read um, certain words that are in certain texts and passages of the scriptures and and um, we have a tendency here to go and look behind the word that is presented. And the reason being is because we want to understand this book right here according to the way that the ancient Hebrew people understood it. Because they were the only people that were chosen by the Most High. It's like today there are many nations upon the face of planet Earth. Many nations, but he is only interested in one nation. When you get so-called saved or you come to salvation, you don't receive salvation and stay the nationality that you were or whatever you are, whatever you may be. When you're so-called saved or you've been born again, and let me put the right terminology up there, when you receive his breath, you do that to become an Israelite. Not to be labeled after any one of these many different nations which names have changed over time for a, a reason. There's a reason why. And, and any time uh, something is not presented in its original context, you can always look for deception. There's something to hide you from the truth. Hallelujah. But many times translation is inadequate uh, for us today, and I can equate this to like a drink being watered down. You see, you could take a glass of tea. See, we like analogies. We can relate to analogies, can't we? You could take a glass of tea, and you can make that tea as strong or as weak as you like it. And what 
we have done or the people have gone before us. When I say we, I'm not, I'm not including us because we didn't have a hand in this. I'm talking about the people who have come before us. And what we have done is we have taken a language that was pure and very strong and we've watered it down over a period of time. And much of the original intent and meaning has been lost through translation. Am I speaking sound enough yes, that you can understand what I'm saying? Yes, Hallelujah. And so what we are doing is we're going back in time to actually get the real true meaning so that some of us, we like our drink strong. Some of us want to taste the fullness of what we're receiving. Some of us want to be refreshed with the real thing. And not something that's phony. And y'all can keep pulling now, but I'm not going to preach, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm going to teach here today, all right? Hallelujah. Amen. But we have dealt with a watered-down language and much of the strength of the Hebraic perspective has been lost to us, which I submit to you as well as to myself first, that if we understood it the way that our people understood it, not only could our relationship be greater, but our worship would be greater. Yes, 